I see a lot of um, older patients, um, and sometimes that doesn't necessarily mean they're less active, but for, mo for some people it does mean a slowing down of activity. So what I try to talk to a lot of patients about is, is the two ideas of if you don't use it, you lose it, and a body in motion stays in motion. Um, I think it's really important for patients to be active and keep the muscle strength in their legs as well as their muscle memory in their legs. That will help them if they trip or trying to step up on a curb um, and just to be active. Um, and we all know that the more you move, the better you're going to feel. So it also helps with cardiovascular health. Um, you don't want to be deconditioned or out of shape, but we like to use the term deconditioned. Um, and uh, if people can just do a little bit every day, and it's simple walking, uh, not great distances depending on the person, but you know, you walk as far as you can. If you get short of breath, you sit down. But uh, I really try to encourage patients to not sit a lot at home. Um, it, it creates an, a, a, an environment where people feel more tired. Um, I've even had people tell me they can't work out because they're too tired. And if they start to work out, they'll realize that the more they exercise every day, the more energy they actually will have. Um, so it's just for the aging population that slows down anyway, um, it's really a, a very strong message that I send to them that they have got to move.